in theology, there is a, a way of understanding God, and particularly God's love and uh, who God loves, called the preferential option for the poor. Now, sometimes this is misconstrued to mean that God only loves the poor, the outcast, the marginalized. But that's not really what it means. Preferential option for the poor means that God's love, grace, compassion meets us just as it meets those who are outcast, downtrodden, the poor, the broken. It meets us in, in ways that would absolutely meet those folks. So when we think about God's preferential option for the poor, we think about God's love being not about the elite, not, not just a love for those who have all the right answers, do all the right things. God's love meets us the same, just as it would meet those who we, in our world, might cast aside. Now, it's a pretty big topic, but let's take a look at a passage of Scripture that can help us understand where this idea comes from. It comes from Psalm chapter 34. Let's take a look. When the righteous cry out, the Lord listens. He delivers them from all troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those whose spirits are crushed. Now, when we hear this passage of scripture, we might not immediately think of the poor, the outcast, the marginalized. But when we think about the spirit being crushed, it's hard not to imagine those who face challenges day in and day out, who face the, the constant effort to climb up, but always meet the, the, the wall that seems to crumble as they climb. From this kind of passage, we start to see the reality of God's love. God's love hears the cry of those who are brokenhearted. God's love hears the cry of those who are cast aside, those who are marginalized, those who are ostracized. Does that mean that God's love doesn't hear you and me? No. It means that God's love is greater than hearing just you and me. God has a preference, a great love. God's love is designed in such a way that it meets those who are brokenhearted, and then it meets us too. God's love is much bigger than anything that we could ever describe it as. God's love is bigger than our love, certainly. God's love is bigger than the world. Nothing can overcome God's love. Not our decisions, not our systems, not our desires, not our plans, not our ways of being. God's love is great. Amen. Mm -hmm.